Welcome back to Top Helmet Oddities of the Week. In this series, we cover all the weird stuff that goes on during the NFL and college games, particularly with the helmets. Let's get in with a shout out, starting with John Prod 24 who says, please do Hank Brown's ear hole covers. Shout out to John Prod 24 who wanted us to cover Auburn's backup made starter made backup who wears ear hole covers in order to hear the headsets that college has added to their helmets this year. You're going to see a lot more of this. These guys are not used to the noise and the communication in their helmet. If you don't know about this yet, go check out our other series where we get into more details on the equipment that is brought to college this year. And you will start seeing these all over the field, like Cade Klubnik, Clemson's quarterback, who you may think was wearing these to block out the haters from their first game with Georgia, because since then, he has been on a tear. Next up, Jets kicker, Gregory Zerline. If you were watching Thursday Night Football, and you were watching the Jets last week beating the hell out of the Patriots 24-3, amongst the slinging of the ball, they kicked some field goals where you may have seen this oddity. Just like Aaron Rodgers, who stubbornly stuck with his shut XP air helmet and his chin strap, Zerline has opted to stick with his less traditional chin strap, the two-point cloth chin strap. Now, with Rodgers back on the Jets, we have some interesting uniforms decisions, long sleeves for receivers, cloth chin straps, and Rodgers fish bowl helmet. Their whole team is just an oddity, so I wouldn't be surprised if you see more Jets on this series. Next up, Trayvon Diggs with another new helmet. This week, he tried on an F7 instead of his Vice Zero 2, which he was wearing. Maybe he's just trying to figure something out. We love to see when players find the most comfortable helmet for them, but you would argue that's what preseason and training camps are for. Maybe whatever win he gets wearing that helmet will be his new helmet in the future. But until then, who knows what will be next. Next up, Brock Bowers. At the Raiders vs. Panthers game this week, we scouted out a relatively new item across the field, but first with Brock Bowers. The Sports Star Quick Click, which we did a video recently on, is a neat way that Sports Star is allowing players to tighten their helmet easily and quickly. They work similar to a seatbelt mechanism, but if you want to hear more about them, check out our video that we did. And while you're there, check out the website. We got some cool stuff, including collectibles of all your favorite teams. Also, here's an update on a previous episode. If you want to check out the video, please go there. But apparently, like 75% or so of the NFL players, they're wearing dome screws. And if they don't have dome screws, they're just throwing snap posts right in there. I guess if you really don't want to adjust your chin strap, what better way than to just screw the damn thing into your helmet? That also will leave an empty hole in a lot of the upper helmets, in particular the Speed Flex, because it's a two-part thing and they're only using one. So just kind of a, a neat thing. Next up, nationality flags. This next oddity has been around a few weeks and the growth of it is immense. The NFL, as much as it is the National League, is very much a melting pot of players from around the world, which is why you've probably seen a lot of different national flags on helmets. This year, you can see players like Hutchinson and Sewell and others wearing decals to show off their heritage. This isn't new to the NFL, but as the game of football is growing, this is a really cool way to shout out folks from around the globe. Okay, lastly, Kayvon Thibodeau. He is not alone in this, but it was most notable on his helmet where his Axiom had a Speed Flex front bumper. Now, I don't know if the equipment guys forgot to put their orders in or maybe they just ran out and they are pretty close. But if you look really closely at a lot of the players wearing Axioms, they're wearing the curved top Speed Flex front 3D bumpers where the Axiom kind of has more edges to it. It's a little detail, but if you know, you know. If you like that kind of detail of information with the helmets, then you obviously like this series. We want to hear the good, the bad, the ugly. What would you do different if this was your series? If nothing, great, we're gonna keep doing it. Don't forget to submit your entries in the comments for the coolest helmets and the weirdest oddities. Maybe you'll get a shout out. Till next time, cheers.